2007 Honda Ridgeline. AC blows cold on the right side of the dash and hot on the left. My name is Brian Essick and I'm from How To Automotive and today I'm going to walk you uh, through the process of figuring out what that is. So I confirmed that the, heat, the heater and the AC under the hood are working just fine. The problem is in the dashboard itself. So in my research I looked up and they have servo motor problems and since um, I can control when I start the car and I can control the heat on the passenger side I can control it from the uh, AC to the heat it works fine uh, and, and then I tried it on the driver side because um, and I can get I can get heat out of the dash but I can't get I can't get it to go cold so there's a little motor flapper door in there that is malfunction so on the driver side just underneath just to the right of the gas pedal there right here is a little servo motor and that controls the driver side heat air control so what I'm gonna do for right now I'm just gonna uh, take out the um, the motor so I'm gonna remove this little air duct here and I'm gonna remove the actual motor itself and just manually control it with my hands and just confirm that um, that it works manually because I've also seen it where the door itself breaks off and the motor itself is fine so we're gonna check that first okay to get this snorkel off the air that blows the air down to your feet I had to uh, there was three screws holding it on one was a little difficult it was up high and underneath the white tube here so I had to use a long extension like so to get it to get to the top bolt that's actually this bolt here on the top and then the white tube ran ran here in this little little saddle right here so you had to pop the tube out of the way and with a long extension get that bolt so once that's removed now you can you have access to your servo motors which is right here so we're gonna take the screws out finish taking the screws out of that and pull it off I also took off this little knee bo booster uh, panel right here and it just popped on with some clips on the corners here and it had one screw underneath the uh, this little panel that I, I popped out here on the side so you pop it out and there's one Phillips screw right here and then just disconnect your electrical connectors by squeezing the tabs and, and then set it aside and that gave me a lot more uh, light inside the dash so I can see what I'm doing so now I got my servo motor off. What I'm going to do is uh, reach up here and manually operate the door. So this is the flap where the servo motor went in and controlled the air, the heat and air. So, so now I, I feel it's working just fine. But to confirm it, I'm going to start the car and actually uh, manually operate it and feel the, the air coming out of the dash. So after starting the car, and uh, running and manually operating it just as I suspected it worked just fine internally inside the dash, dash so I don't have to take the dashboard apart any further so what I want to do now is I want to start the car and work it electrically through the controller and see if I can get the motor to turn or not because I want to verify that it's getting a signal from the controller if, so yeah. what I also may do is if it doesn't work most likely the motor has seized on, the, on this the servo motor has broken but you just got to confirm that you're getting a, a signal from the actual controller too. So now that I got it out of the dash and I'm working the controller with my right hand and you can see it moving, it's working now. It, I, I must have freed it up. It, it's, it started working now. So by me messing with it, it started working. It wasn't working earlier. So with that information, I'm confirmed, I, I'm confirmed that the controller is working. Maybe it's just a, yeah, see, I'm barely touching it and it stopped moving. So, what we're going to do is uh, order up a, uh, a servo motor and reinstall it. So, after reinstalling our, our servo motor, uh, we check our operations and uh, confirm our repair, and everything is working perfect. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and encourage you guys to su subscribe for more diagnostic tips. And uh, thank you again for watching my videos.